Hello, I am Pete, and welcome back to the Giza Tower. It's kind of gloomy here, and we have a quest to find our way to the top. And... I mean, this might work, but it kind of feels like it's just going to get me to a place where I'm stuck for another reason entirely. I mean, I, I do still feel like the name Giza Tower... Oh, hello. Uh, I feel like the name Giza Tower suggests that there should be some Giza-based vertical ascent action going on. If I can find something that's going to blast me upwards, then good things will return. That said, can I get to this ledge? I feel like I'm going to be all glided out by the time I get there. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to, to try and climb up this way. I might find all sorts of interesting things on the route. Which is uh, never a bad a bad outcome. Okay, that's an overhang. What's this here? That's a bit overhangy as well. Let's have a little look through here. This feels like the kind of place where there's lots of interesting little plateaus on the way to our destination. Don't want to fall off there. Yeah, I was in that room earlier. Yeah, I kind of want to get to that ledge there. Hopefully all of these walls are climbable. We're definitely getting a little higher. Higher and higher. Uh, have I been at that ledge? Yeah, I was at that ledge a little bit ago. If I just end up back over there, then that's no progress. That one I think I can get to. I think I've got enough energy to get up there. Oh, it's going to be touch and go though, isn't it? It's going to be really close. Four. That couldn't have been much closer. That's interesting. Some little baskety, nesty thing. Oh, hello. A ship. Hmm. Let's try getting to the top of it. That went quite well. Okay, that door down below looks like it probably won't let me in. But I'm quite happy being where I am right now. And now I'm on a little ledge type thing. That looks a bit geezerish up there. And in fact, that looks a bit geezerish down there. Where's that coming from? I really want to try that, but if I do head down there, I've potentially lost a lot of height. Oh, that one's a bit closer, actually. Where's that one coming from? Uh, can I climb this? I don't think I can. Let's try going around the side. Where were those green clouds emanating from? Maybe they were coming from on the top there. Okay, well, we can still make our way up a little bit over here. Let's just keep trying to gain height inch by inch. Now the question is, can I get to that one there? I'm worried that by the time I glide over to that, I'll have lost so much height that I won't have enough energy to climb up, but I'm going to give it a try. Okay, this this has got to be an up pushy thing. Yeah, knew it. Well, there's someone over there. This might be the climber that we were trying to get to. Excellent news. Climber Dylan, hello there, glider. What of you, eh? Dylan looks perfectly content, even happy, taking in the scenery alone. I gaze briefly out at the horizon. It is a nice view. Uh, what are you doing up here? He laughs. What's it look like? I tell Dylan that I've been sent by Zevi to encourage him to come back down and continue their journey together from less frightening height. Dylan shakes his head. Zebi, what a killjoy. Here, have a look at this and tell me if you'd come down. Look at that beautiful beast. What, the bird? It's called a pink neck. Ever heard of them? Native to the Sodic Waste. 
people say they're direct descendants of the creatures that came in on the whale. That one's got a whole clutch of eggs ripe for the taking. Dylan nods his resolve. I just need to figure out how to get them. Could I help you? I ask if there's anything I might be able to help with, given my status. I've been thinking the best way is probably to frighten the mother off with something shiny and then get the eggs once she's gone. You're collecting masks, right? If you've got anything shiny and metallic, that might do the trick. I tell him I'll think on this and try to be of assistance. He thanks me and returns to his bird watching. I say goodbye to Dylan. Right. Afraid of shiny masks. So, so firstly I think I saw a... Yeah, there's a geezer over there, so that's going to be my way up. But yeah, I do need to make sure I've got some sort of metallic mask on. Uh, the cartographer's one is definitely metal. Uh, the machinist one is probably made of metal. That one's surely got some metal on it. I think the uh, the cartographer's feels like the one that's most likely to scare a bird. It, it would be enough to scare me, that's for sure. Okay, so I'm going to try and get up there via this geezer that I spot over here. Oh, looks like it's about to go. Let's hope we don't miss it. Nice. And let's glide ourselves right on in. Smack into the side of this rock face. And then we must climb this. And let's hope we have enough energy to do this. I think we probably do. Oh, I hear some twee music. Boo. Oh. This mask does not seem to be scaring her anywhere near enough. Let's try the machinist's one. That did the job. I got the pink neck eggs and she is just derping around. Okay, where's our friend? Down here, I think. Let's come in from above at high speed. Oh, I wanted to land right on his head, that would have been hilarious. I try not to look too tired as I hand the eggs over to Dylan, who seems positively delighted. Would you look at that? Hate to admit it, but you might be a better climber than me. At least a better bird scarer. Birds tremble before me. Hmm, suppose I should get back to Zevi. Before I do, you deserve this. That's like no climb I've ever seen, certainly not by an amateur. Dylan hands me a climbing badge and I thank him for it. See you around, glider, and thanks. I say goodbye to Dylan. Dylan's disappeared, that quest is complete, and I reckon, yeah, we've now got enough badges to claim a climbing mask if we wanted to. But right, what are we doing for now? For now, we're still searching for Ulhor, that's the only quest we've got in this area. Is there going to be anything else to do up here on these tall boys? I feel like probably not. I feel like probably not. I mean, there's always the likelihood of chum eggs, isn't there? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop in here because this looks like it's another geezer geezer. And let's get ourselves nice and high up. See if we can see any chum eggs from above. I'm sure that this was erupting before. I mean, if I've just gotten myself into this hole that I can't get out of, Oh no, it's okay, it's going to erupt any second. Here we go. Okay, so... I want to aim for one of these tall ones here. And get myself somewhere where I can look down on potential chum eggs. So, are there any chum eggs below me? I think I just see, like, trees and things shimmering in the breeze. Yeah, there's nothing that has that that rhythmic pulsage of a chum doing its little dance. Okay, in which case we need to set up somewhere else. Right, while I'm here, we can take this opportunity to highlight the cartographer's balloon, which is right over there. Let's just get the marker on it. I think that's going to be it. Let's check the map. That seems about right, yeah. Is there anything else I want to highlight while I'm out here? I think, I think that's, probably, that's probably the thing. Okay, our conveyance is just down here, so let's get to that. Come here, Samoon. Where are you?
You're around there now, are you? Oh, Simoon, you're not being derpy, are you? Oh, that thing's happening now where every time I try and summon Simoon, it won't move. Uh, I think this is another one of those shy plants. So I'm just going to sneak up on it with a little whistle. And just pluck it. Pluck it from its stem. Pluck. Boop. Also, it looks like over there there might be a campfire. Uh, let's stand up. And let's just set a marker just... Oh, it's tricky to get it just right. Probably about there. How's the moon doing? Simoon is doing a terrible job. Right. Okay, what's the best way to get to Simoon? I'm going to fast travel back to the Giza Tower. Have another go at dropping in on Simoon from above. <laughs> there it is. This is fine. Okay, we're free. Alright, I think cartographer's balloon probably first, and we can check out that campfire later. Or, or should we? Nah, you know what? I'm going to go to the campfire. I'm feeling intrigued. Okay then, what have we here? We have someone in a pool. Salt Harvester Dane. Ah, a glider. Haven't had one up here in a while. Feels like only yesterday I set off for my own gliding. Headed down to Marabone Station in the wash, I did. Seeing Pyraouster, I almost wet myself. Could never work out if it was a natural rock formation or a statue someone had carved. Even overheard someone in Ecria saying the thing was alive. Yeah, I think that's that's another name for the worm that we were looking at in a previous episode. Yeah, a worm that big. Can you imagine? I think if I thought that could happen, I wouldn't sleep very well. I need some clues on how to get into it, though. I don't want to have to resort to looking some stuff up online, but I will if I have to. What have we here? Salt Harvester Felix, welcome to the Waste Glider. What can I do for you? I can have some salt. What do you need salt for? In its raw form, this stuff is unusable. It needs to be processed before it's edible. If you want to try our salt in food, you'll have to head on west into the Red Sea to Ecria. We have an exclusive contract with the traders there. Can't be selling our goods to any old glider who stumbles past. You've come a long way, so I'll do you one better. Here's something for your bike over there. You're welcome. What can I do for you? Uh, see you around. You don't seem very useful at all. I'm just going to stand in your tent for a few seconds. Yeah, invading your personal space. That'll learn you. Okay, it doesn't feel like there's much here apart from that piece of dye. There's some kind of... What is this? Some kind of tripod thing? Doesn't seem to do anything. Alright, I think it's time to head to the cartographer's balloon. There's Simoon sneaking up on me from behind. Don't know how she does that. Okay, so yeah, let's just head straight for that uh, that balloon on the horizon and see what see what the climb's going to involve. Some of those climbs up to the cartographer balloons have been fairly tricky. So I'm seeing a whole lot of wrecked ships here, and I'm wondering sort of how much exploring there is to be done. I'm I'm assuming not all of these are enterable. In fact, I'm assuming that probably most of them aren't. It's probably just here for for impact rather than for loot. And it certainly does have a lot of impact. Okay, so cartographer balloon up there. Looks like we might be able to climb up the inside here. That's certainly where I want to start. There is one little chum egg down here. Thank you. So, climbable walls, I'm seeing very little. So maybe, maybe it's not about that. Maybe it's about hopping from, from crashed ship to crashed ship. I mean, this could be devilishly hard. The number of variables here is astronomical. Okay, this looks very telling. There's a platform and a ladder. Okay, so I think I need to get on top of this thing and then that will get me started. So, am I able to hop up here? I 
feels like a no, doesn't it? Okay, let's try going up the outside. Okay, platform across there. All right, yep. Yeah. We just need to trace this backwards, that's all. And here's the climbable wall. This is what we've been waiting for. Uh, and a chummick for good measure. How many do we have in our inventory now? Are we up to 20? 17. Okay, getting quite close. All right, let's let's start the the long journey up to the cartographer. This feels like the sort of climb that's potentially very punishing. If I misstep, I might be going back quite a long way. I guess I just need to be ready to adapt. You know, if I do find all of a sudden I'm not where I thought I was and the ground opens up beneath me, I just need to think fast and find a path back to safety. Okay, one more ladder. Up we go. Just having a little look around in this area in case there's any cuts or scrap metal. But it doesn't look like there are. And our destination is... Well, I've lost sight of it now a little bit. Um, up, up on that tower somewhere. But trying to figure out my angle of approach. Well, I can't get up there, so I need to get up onto this next level of purple. The way up is not obvious. Can I climb one of these pillars? Pillar looking not climbable. Is there a ladder sneaking around here? I do see a chum egg down there. But that's definitely a distraction, isn't it? Nah, you know what? I'm going for it. If it means I need to go around again, then so be it. Yeah, we're pretty close back down to ground level now. In hindsight, perhaps I should have saved that chum egg for later. Okay, we're going back round again. Meet you when we get back to where I was before. Alright, we've made it back up to this platform. Let's have another look around for options. I mean, jumping onto the top of this is basically the only option I can see at the moment. It feels like it's taking me in the wrong direction, but it might give me a better viewpoint at the very least. So there's nothing that looks like a climbable wall. Which is frustrating. This thing's got a little sticky outy bit, but that doesn't feel like it's going to get me where I need to go. Okay, well, given the shortage of options of where I can go, I might as well explore in this direction. Let's head over to this platform here. And let's just see what's over here. Maybe it will give us something at least. Well, that's interesting. Another oh, a climbable wall and a ladder. Okay, maybe this is where we're supposed to be. It's it's indirect, but it's getting us there. And there's another chum over there. Hmm. But I don't know if that wall's going to be climbable. Let's try and get a little bit higher, higher and then drop on that chum from above. Okay, so from here, I kind of want to get back to that ladder. This was definitely taking us in the right direction. Well, it was taking us in A direction. Game developers wouldn't have put a ladder here if it wasn't taking you somewhere worth going. So I feel like up is definitely where we should be looking. So let's, uh, is that up? What's through here? Yeah, I think I can get up here and get up on some roofy bits. Roof to roof. Very nice. And this is thankfully solid. And here we go. We've made it to that higher platform at long last. Oh, okay, right. Really don't want to fall down now. The stakes are getting higher. So I think if I go around the other side of this wall... Yep, here's another ladder. Very good. 
and now we're into this bit. And I'm feeling a little bit safer in here now because there's walls around me, so I'm less likely to endure a long drop. There's a ladder. These cartographers really don't like visitors, do they? Okay, now it's uh, it's getting a little bit more straightforward now. Each ladder is visible from the previous one. Just don't fall off. Hello. It was daytime when I started this climb. I greet the cartographer. Cartographer Iliad. Surprised you didn't hurt yourself getting all the way up here. Guess you're stronger than you look. That's right, I'm very strong. I tell the cartographer they got it right. I'm tremendously strong, just hugely. They nod like I am the odd one. Right, so what do you want? Can I buy a map? Okay, let's trade. We don't need the badge. Let's just have the map of the Surdic Waste. I can probably do a little bit of selling while we're here. Let's sell one of these Stepwell Dragonflies. A few of these Chalk Butterflies. And these Shy Pults. There we go. Very nice. Um, so... Now we're up here. Doesn't look like Hire has anything to offer unless there's a, a chummy lad right at the very, very top there. The moon is rising at great speed. So let's see. Well, I like how those ring gates glow over there now. That's cool. So over there, that's where we were at the start of the episode. Cartographer's balloon. Yep, thank you. Let's have a little look at the map. No, not that one. This button. And let's zoom in and see what looks like it's worth visiting. I mean, there's lots of strange shapes here. That over there is almost certainly a crashed ship. But as far as other things are concerned, it's really quite hard to tell. I mean, this here might be a thing. I don't know. What's our quest log saying? So we've still only got the one quest in this area. Uh, Sodic Wastes. Look for the Sleeping Singers, a set of stone whales, and then follow the path of the archer. Stone whales. Do you see anything that looks like a whale? Sleeping singers, a set of stone whales. I mean, maybe all of these crashed ships are the sleeping singers. Given that the whale was the name of the big crashed ship over at um over in Red Sea. Maybe these are the sleeping singers. Let's ask the cartographer, maybe he knows. Uh, um, anything nearby worth a look? They answer with a measurable amount of exasperation, practically snorting into their response. Well, you're in the middle of the shipyard, if that wasn't obvious. There are geezer rocks nearby, just don't get too close. The salt pools to the northeast are home to some decent folk. Go visit them if you like, okay. Um, salt pools, northeast. I mean, that might be a salt pool there. We've got a lot of markers on our map now. Is there anything we can do about that? Uh, we could turn off this one, because that's the one I placed by the cartographer's balloon. That one we want to keep. That one we don't need anymore. I want to keep the yellow and the red. Okay, I, th I think we're now down to, to minimal markers. So the green and the purple are in that direction. Uh, what's purple? I don't remember post paping pe pepper never mind I don't remember placing that one so let's just get rid of that uh, this thing over here looks interesting let's check that out strange noise is it coming from this some kind of radar dish maybe don't know is that a doorway over there? How am I going to get to that? I feel like I need to use these to keep my height. And then let's let's glide across to this one. Yeah, it feels like that's what these sort of little pillars with the gaps are for. So that you can glide over some longer distances. And let's just climb the rest of the way. 
hearing that strange droning noise again. We have two archers firing into this tiny doorway. I wonder if that's got anything to do with the path of the archer. Is this going to be Ulhor after all that? The stranger by the fireside introduces themselves as Ulhor, the famous fabulist. Nice. If I had any doubts that I would recognize the fabled Ulhor, they vanished at the sight of her mask. A face turns. You're looking for me, aren't you? The atomic priesthood is looking for you. I tell Ulhor that I'm here on behalf of the atomic priesthood. I see then, Glider, you've come here to carry me away, to end my walk, to make me talk about how I've gone astray. I'm not sure what to say next, and certainly not in rhyme, so I give a sort of playful shrug. Ulhor shakes her head and looks to the sky as her mask shifting away. I know why the priesthood wants me. Truth be told, I miss them as well. I wait for the next verse, but apparently this is just talking. Why did you leave Ecria? The city's great, I love it so, but something troubles me. I've grown so fond of the world beyond, there's so much more to see. She shrugs. Good rhymes. Nice. I tell Ulhor I like her rhymes. They are dope, yo. She thanks me with a little bow. The priests give me a good life. I spread their word. They treat me like a queen. But there's still something wrong. I'm at an impasse. I ask what kind, and she doesn't matter. She doesn't answer. What is your name? I tell her it's Sable. Sable, as a glider, you might have a particular insight into what I'm seeking. For what I desire is to choose a path, and you are very much on the same journey. Do you think you could help me? I tell her yes, but it's absolutely a secret, maybe, bordering on a doubtful. The atomic priesthood, however strange and severe, have given me a very comfortable life. I speak their truth, I spread their word, and, well, frankly, I stop them being so bloody boring all the time. She crosses her arms. For that, they treat me wonderfully. I get anything I want, so long as I use my gifts to convey their message. Sounds great. It does, it does, it does, it does. But it also means that I don't get to speak of much else. And it makes me wonder what else I could do. Could I be more peculiar? Or more fun? Funny, even. So now I wonder, should I return to Ecria? Uh, yes. Lahore dismisses me again. No, 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 it isn't that easy, Sable, don't you see? I've spent these weeks wandering the vastness of the desert, travelling through towns and encampments, through ruins and wanders, asking myself questions. And I've narrowed it down to the three most significant questions, for which I have no answers. Perhaps if you can help me. I tell her yes, sure, of course, please. Thank you. You have a glider's wisdom. Lahore draws me closer and I look deep into the eyes of her mask. Sable, glider, what is the value of art? Is it spreading truth, or is it spreading joy? It's quite a start. I tell her that the value of art is spreading truth. I say it's the truth, and Ulhor nods vigorously. A fabulist in coarser words is one who peddles lies, but I have found a way around, giving warning to the wise. Fascinating, Sable. Really helpful. Was it? Next question. When you are faced with a challenge, how do you approach it? Do you value caution or safety? Well, what I am definitely not going to say is that I thought they were much the same thing. Instead, caution. I tell that I think caution is more important than safety. Caution? Interesting. And you didn't even have to think. Perfect. Lahore claws her. <laughs> Lahore clears her throat. When I first left my home and was bound for the sand, I knew not what I'd find as I walked this great land, but I knew that in going I'd risk soul and skin so I wore caution out and lit fire within. New rhyme scheme there. I like it. Ulhor nods. Versatility. You've been so helpful, Sable. Thank you. The last question is probably an easy one for you, still in your gliding. Why do we explore? What drives us? Are we seeking our purpose? Or are we indulging our freedom? To be fair to Ulhor, this one gives me pause. It's danced around my thoughts now and again, but not in so many words. I wonder, is my purpose as a glider to see all places, or is it to find my place? 
I think on it and offer an answer. The purpose of such exploration is to indulge your freedom. We don't go straight to the right answer. We want to see everything. I tell Ulhor that the point is to indulge our freedom. Fascinating. She breathes in. Our hearts are such impatient things they hate to be told no. So we seek out time while we're in our prime, but it's space we need to grow. Ulhor pauses after this last. I hear the wind blow past and then suddenly she claps. Well, that settles it. I think I've made up my mind, but I'll need another night or so to think on it. I ask Ulhor if she's going back to Ekria or not. She laughs. I find myself liking her laugh quite a lot. I'll find out tomorrow. Thank you, Sable, for listening. You've been a very generous collaborator today, and I feel quite refreshed. Take this badge, a token of your contribution. She sits up straight. A glider named Sable, the fabulous little whore, shared something today on the sands. I put faith in her judgment, all trust in her brain, and my fate in her capable hands. Little whore bows, and I must admit, I feel quite nice having heard that. Thank you, Sable. I know we'll meet again. I wish Little whore the best, and then tell her goodbye. I don't know if I helped, but I gave it a try. Oh no, she's got me doing it. And that, I think, is where we're going to end this episode of Sable. I hope you will join me next time when we will continue exploring the Sodic Wastes. Bye-bye.